This is STS scholarship at its finest. On behalf of the membership of the Society for Social Studies of Science, I am pleased and honored to award the 2014 John Desmond Burnell Prize to Professor Lizzie Suchman. on receipt of an email from Donald McKenzie titled Offer of Burnell Prize. What does one do with such a subject line? The catch of breath, leap of the heart, moment of disbelief, a consultation perhaps on who might be the next recipient of this gift so treasured by those of us committed to scholarship in the field of social studies of science and technology. And then the words, quote, I'm extremely pleased to be able to say that the Burnell Prize Committee, myself, Gary Downey, and Adele Clark, have unanimously decided to offer you the 2014 Burnell Prize of the Society for Social Studies of Science. The immediate next thoughts, then, are of all the things one has meant to do but hasn't managed, of all the others within the community of scholarship who one looks up to, admires, and who perhaps deserve it more. Then the profound gratitude, as of all the networks of which I'm part, this is the one with which I identify most strongly, my primary affiliation. How deeply moving to be given this recognition by those of you who matter to me the most. Then the overwhelming desire for at least the first 24 hours to tell everyone when one is sworn to tell no one. <laughs> one year, as my predecessors in this honor know, is a long time to wait though well worth it for this moment. And finally, of course, the aspirations, all those things still to be done. For me, those are an equal mix of activism and scholarship. Activism to interrupt the technologics of contemporary war fighting, where led by my government, the United States, the laws of war, in as much as they have given us any recourse for justice and accountability, are progressively eroded as the asymmetrical infrastructures of high-tech weaponry grow. And scholarship is the cumulative project of building upon, being energized by the work of others, contributing to our collective ability to think more generatively, insightfully, differently about the human and non-human condition. The latter is, in my view, itself a form of intervention, of critical scholarship. <coughs> Whereas feminist philosopher Judith Butler explains, critical does not mean destructive, but only willing to examine what we sometimes presuppose in our way of thinking that gets in the way of making a more livable world. Thanks to Judith Butler for that, and thanks to all of you in this community whose work inspires and enlivens my own for this very special prize. 